Hello, this is Dr. Steve Horowitz with Capital Sports Injury Center, dcsportsinjury.com. Many patients have asked me, what do I do in the morning for my morning warm-up? So here it is. I'm going to go through it, about five reps each exercise. I typically do 10 to 20 reps, and anything that feels tight, I just do more reps. So here we go. First exercise, we're going to stand up really straight, pushing up to the ceiling, neck flexion and extension. Always starting in a gentle range at a relatively slow speed, comfortable speed, and the range of motion will increase as you do the reps. Then we go into lateral flexion. This is typically a very difficult movement for most people. And just take your time with it. If this is too fast, just move more slowly. As you do this week after week, month after month, you'll find your range of motion improving quite a bit. Then we get into rotation. And then forward and back, translation. And then side to side, a movement that I have trouble with, as you can see, but it's getting there. As little shoulder movement as possible. Then I make a little U. And then I even do some full circumduction, making a big circle. If this is hard for you in the beginning, you probably want to leave this out and gradually get into it. In many books you'll hear that this is not a safe exercise. It's usually that the person is not able to do it, not that the exercise is bad. Next thing we do are some shoulder shrugs. Full range of motion, but just through the shoulder, not lifting the elbow. And then back. So these are simultaneous. Then one at a time and one at a time going back. Then some thoracic cage mobilization. Notice my hands, palm in, palm out, and really focusing on the middle back, like this. Breathing out on the way down and on the way up. Then do some nice big circles, go the opposite way. Reaching up, do some circles each direction, out to the side, notice my shoulders are not up here, they're down, and then reaching back and down. Then just a nice golf swing, you golfers will love this, this will really help your golf swing. And thank you Pavel Satsuin, we do a nice walk like an Egyptian. Getting the opposite palm up. Then this one took me a while to get, but opposite directions. Great for coordination. Then we get into the wrist and hand. So elbows in tight, hands out, really extending the fingers. Great for the elbows, wrists, hands. Make some nice big circles big circles, and this one is in, like this, and then you can make some circles in through the wrist or figure eights, and I usually like to speed it up because I've been doing this a while, and go the other direction. In a very simple move, just walk in place, and get that coordination. So opposites, opposites, opposites. I'll slow down so you can see. Try to keep the feet cocked up. So when the left knee is up, right arm is forward. And then I can speed it up. Great for track athletes. Great for anybody who wants to warm up their hips. Men, men typically don't like this. Make a big circle like a hula hoop. Get your hips going. Go back the other way. And just some simple old fashioned Jack Lane and reach. So on this reach, I'm going to get my hip out and really extending the reach with my arm. I'm not trying to side bend so far, but get the stretch with your arm and really reach and reach. Reach and reach. Reach. And reach. And we do our 
Tai Chi waist twister. Notice the hips are making my arms move. So I'm not rotating all the way around, just my hips are making my arms move. And then because I once dabbled in a little martial arts, get my shoulders back and I'm do a little low kick. I'm trying to get my range of motion in my shoulders a little bit higher and higher. Then we can do hurdle walks in to out, out to in. Then we can go into a nice deep squat. Then a nice little move I learned from Ido Portal. See his blog, great sight. Get those hips going. Now another one is come out and come out and come back. This is a great one. Then we can go down and do some simple cat camels. If you've been a patient here, you certainly know this exercise. Then some hip rotations, trying to keep the hips level. Just do one on each side. Then a nice exercise for your core. Let's go out to the side with your leg. And out to the side with your leg, trying to keep your hips square. Then another nice one is just a frog jump. Great for martial artists. Great right here. Now, we get down on the ground. We do some external and internal rotation of the hips. And then my favorite active isolated stretching quadricep stretch like this. Then we go right into a sideline chest stretch. Again, in the active isolated mode with a two second hold. Keeping the knees together, hips going this way, my arm going the opposite direction. And then we switch sides. So we get the hip rotation, the quadricep stretch, and again, at least 10 reps on each side. And sideline, we do that little can opener move and hold at the end of the range for about two seconds. Sometimes I go back and forth with my arm, help that shoulder range of motion. Then, next thing is we can go into Pavel Tatsulin's downward dog. Nice back stretch, pop up. Up dog, down dog, kind of a sequence, but a little more martial art format. Then for me, for my shoulders, I love this exercise. It's a prone shoulder blade squeeze. So I go back and forth, kind of like you're hugging somebody in front of you. Notice the entire time my hands are not touching my rear end. My hands are not touching the floor. It stays above the floor. Like this. This one will tire you out. Great for your shoulders. And then I end with my favorite foam roller. And now we can do some thoracic cage mobilization. So we put it behind. I start down a little lower than my shoulder blades. I bridge up. Put my hands back and stay on one spot. Don't go all the way up and down. Just stay on one spot. Get it loose. Get it loose and work your way down. The foam roller is great. You can get on your side. I usually do my lats a little bit in the morning. And then also another favorite for everybody is the IT band. And we can finish up there. Usually I end my warm-up with just some front kicks. I'm not going to win any martial arts contests like this. Keep my hands up and just kick. Nice way to keep the hamstrings loose. Just kick to your comfort level. And then you can do some front kicks, which are great for athletes to prevent hamstring pulls. And this way. 
And if you have something to hold on to or lean on, then you can do these to the side and back like this. And that's a wrap. That's my morning warm-up.